Hello, everyone, and welcome to this, the final newsletter of second term. This week, the college celebrated Refugee Week. In recent weeks in the, in the news, we've seen the saga of the Sri Lankan Murugappan family who spent time in Bilwala and also Christmas Island in Australia. And we've read about their fight to stay in Australia. This story provides a really interesting human face to what is a very complex issue. We can debate strong borders and strong messages to people smugglers. We can watch news clips of bleeding heart lefties and redneck patriots whose protests come physically closer together while their philosophical positions become further apart and end up none the wiser as to what's really right um, and what it means for individual people. At St Joseph's, we're gospel people. And because we're a Catholic school in the Edmund Rice tradition, we're committed to justice and solidarity and inclusive community. And it seems to me when we read the story of the last judgment in Matthew's gospel, uh, and you might recall it uh, goes something like this. So uh, as people are being judged on their lives, the judge says, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink? And when did we see you a stranger and invite you in or needing clothes and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? And that particular story finishes with the line, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of these, the least of my brothers and sisters, you did to me. And I think that sets out our position on the refugee issue pretty clearly. For many years, St Joseph's, along with most other secondary schools, has offered two separate senior certificates, the Victorian Certificate of Education, or VCE, and VCAL, which is the Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning. Recently, it's been announced that there will be a change to a single senior secondary certificate from 2023. Our Mount Sion Head of Learning, Brad Smith, has provided more detail of these changes and transition arrangements later in this newsletter. And I encourage you, particularly if you have a son in year nine or 10, who's considering a VCAL pathway to familiarise yourself with this information. And of course, there'll be more specific detail about arrangements here at St Joseph's in due course. Last Friday, we made offers for positions in year seven, 2022. I'm grateful for the college work of the college registrar, Adele Mawson, in arranging open day tours and managing this enrolment process. We expect to have 11 classes and a total of 308 students in 2022. This is my fifth year as principal at St Joseph's and in the fifth year, all principals within the Edmund Rice uh, Education Australia system are reviewed a survey has already been conducted here with a random sample of staff, students and parents. And on July 13 and 14, there'll be a panel in the college meeting with a range of staff and members of the community. There is an opportunity for any parent wishing to meet with the panel or provide written feedback to do so. And if you wish to take up that option, please email Adele Watt at the college. In recent days, our Director of Westcourt, Mark Deverall, has accepted the position of Deputy Principal at Bacchus Marsh College to commence at the start of semester two. I'd like to congratulate Mark, to thank him for his contribution to St Joseph's over four years and wish him well in this new challenge. I'm also delighted to announce that Luke Parsons has agreed to accept the role as Acting Director of Westcourt for second semester. At the end of this term, we also farewell Dave Brainy, who's been teaching at St Joseph's since 1985. A career spanning five decades is quite remarkable. We wish Dave well for a long and happy retirement and thank him for all that he's done for this college. We also thank and farewell Bridget Blackburn, 
Eamon Vines and Annie Burke, who've made valuable contributions this term in replacement roles. And we wish Mike Davies well as he takes long service leave in term three. Best wishes to you and your family for a safe and restful holiday break. And I look forward to seeing your son back at school on Tuesday, July 13. God bless.